Climate initiatives conflict with the world's energy crisis. North Korea told not to test nukes or else. And a new, more unconventional way to take a COVID vaccine. Good morning, I'm Kara Rucker, and here's your Daily Rundown. The United Nations coming out ahead of scheduled meeting next month saying where current greenhouse gas emissions stand, there will be a quote catastrophic climate breakdown. Their agenda will go after fossil fuels, an industry not only world economies, but people around the world are still heavily dependent on, proven by the current energy crises. The U.S. has reason to believe North Korea is resuming nuclear bomb testing. Our country and its allies are threatening an unparalleled scale of response their way if they move forward on drills. World power Kim Jong-un advancing his rhetoric as a nuclear power this year, saying he'd use nukes in a military conflict against the U.S. And finally, tens of millions of Americans are getting vaccinated ahead of winter. Whether it be protection from COVID or the flu, we're rolling up our sleeve. But China is now administering a COVID vaccine that is first of its kind, a vaccine in a sippy cup, inhaled in a gaseous form. Hold your breath for five seconds after a deep inhale and you're all done. The goal of the vaccine administered by mouth is the vaccine catches the virus in your upper respiratory system first before making its way into your body. If or when this comes to the U.S. is unknown, but it is likely we eventually receive a nasal vaccine with testing currently underway.